Ollie Jackson, welcome to uh, to Knock Hill with, with the team going pretty well. Could have been better at Alton Park, and perhaps you're the man to talk about uh, some of the robust racing that was going on at Alton Park. How do you reflect on what was going on two weeks ago? Yeah, I, th I think it was um, it was pretty disappointing. I think uh, we've got into a place the last few years where the racing's been really good. It's been hard, you know, obviously every now and again somebody makes a mistake. I've made a few mistakes, you get a penalty, but it did seem to dis descend into to um, a bit of you know unnecessary argy bargy and uh, pushing and shoving and just yeah it, it was well dirty racing frankly in some aspects yeah and you were a victim what in race one and two or was it two and three but cer certainly you were a victim on a couple of occasions uh, an innocent party yeah I think I mean yeah obviously we all um, we all dish out um, a bit of um, uh, you know, a bit of stick every now and again but I like to consider myself to be clean I always give people space so I always keep to one movement and um, I don't turn in on people and yeah I just yeah, it was a real shame I got shoved in the second race and then turned around by another car and um, it was just it was unnecessary and, uh, and it spoiled the weekend and it, it was just I mean to be fair you know Saturday didn't go that well for us either you know the qualifying was really tough although it was it was fiercely close at Alton. I mean, you know, normally I mean, well, six tenths off pole for P17, and normally that would be good enough for a, you know, a top ten. But uh, so that that hurt quite a lot. Uh, but um, but I made a few good starts, made up some places. So it, it um, you know I got back up into the top ten again a couple of times, only to be punted back down. So it was um, it was um, a real shame. Yeah, I, I mean, it's very much sort of self-regulating out there and, and, and the championship season tends to go in waves and you get one uh, race meeting where everything seems to boil over. How do the drivers handle that themselves? Do you all sort of get together and say, hang on, chaps, that, you know, we went a bit too far there? Um, it's difficult, really. I mean, you have different relationships with different drivers. I mean, sometimes if, um, if I have an incident with some of the drivers that I know better, you know, we'll have a chat about it. Um, I don't have that relationship with everybody. Um, it's uh, sometimes your only resort really is unfortunately to go up the bus, and um, and it, it's uh, it's difficult. The, the, you know, especially at the moment, you know, we don't all sit round in the same space like we used to uh, before COVID to have the drivers' briefings. We don't kind of thrash it out amongst ourselves. We are actually kind of all spread out across the paddock a little bit. Yeah, uh, but as regards the car, regards the team, uh, you're looking quick. Yeah, the car's great. The car's running well. We we tested here pre-season, which um, appears to be paying off. Uh, the, the car's feeling really good, actually. And um, it's not always been our strongest track round here, so I think we're, we're quite pleased with how we kicked off the weekend so far. Hopefully, we'll be able to keep it going. Jolly good. Well, all the best, and uh, keep out of trouble. Cheers, Steve. Thanks very much.